Hi everyone, here today to do a book review on the, on a Life and Time series known as At the Atticus of Rome by Barry Denver, Denberg. It's a historical fiction, it's a it's book that's meant for like middle schools or elementary even. At least, I first read this when I was in middle school and I had recently decided to reread it just to see if it if it was still as good as I recall, and my perception is kind of mixed because, well, before I get into details about this book, I would like to mention that other people who have either bought or read this book also gave it more like mixed review of whether or not that it's not entirely accurate in the whole setting of ancient Rome, but they did enjoy some of the stories, but details, real factual details, can be a bit out of place. So, here this whole story is about this boy named Atticus who ends up, after being put into slave, slavery by being captured by the Romans, he's put in, he has ended up bought into a but into a man named Lucius Opus, I believe. I don't know how to remember how to pronounce his last name, but I do know it's Lucius. He he is actually eventually favored by Lucius and becomes more like a special spy for him in the whole story about possible conspiracy against the emperor and other high nobles, I believe. All this time, we do get to see from Atticus' point of view of how he feels different because he's actually a Greek, a Greek citizen, and how he sees Rome as. And while I do agree that maybe there are some inaccuracy, I'm not a history person, but I do believe there may have been some inaccuracy in this. I will say that there were scenes that I that were describing him that really did actually felt like what how I would picture Rome also. In which it got some stuff correct, it got the correct, and of course it got some stuff like uh, toga wearing, and then the gladiators, gladiators, the Colosseum, animal fights, those kind of stuff. <laughs> That's what the that was felt realistic to me, and I. Enjoyed it, although there were some parts where it was kind of slow, or at least some very boring parts. I did feel that this was actually a decent novel for suspense, not for like thoroughly learning of the time of the time setting, but it's good. It's an okay one. I do recommend that this is for any ages, even for high schoolers or any adults who are thinking of, re of reading this up. Go ahead. There's nothing too graphic about it. There is mentions of nudity and blood and killings in here, but it's not that graphic enough to be considered inappropriate. So, I mean, it's ancient Rome after all, so this is actually okay. What I would rate it is that out of five stars, I would probably give this one probably three and a half. There's some stuff it could have done better. There's some stuff I wish they could elaborate or maybe make this book just a bit longer and cut out some stuff in the beginning, but it was very enjoyable. If you are any a history person or any interest in Rome, this is probably an optional book for you to pick up and read about. Very interesting and I love it. Goodbye. Mm.